Reco! Yes, Daddy! You want to watch the video? Hold on, Daddy! I need to shit first! What is this for video, Daddy? Uh, it's about Apollo 70, Echo! Ah, oh, I love rockets! I love Apollo! Let's watch it, Daddy! But first I need to shit! Bye bye, piece of shit! <laughs> NASA wants the last moon mission to be their greatest. Wow, the landing site demands rockets. the first night launch of the giant Saturn V rocket. I love night On launches. Board, Ron Evans Shh. is command module pilot. Hold your beak for one second, idiot. Harrison Schmidt is NASA's first scientist in space. And the commander of Apollo 17 is Gene Cernan, a veteran of Gemini 9 and Apollo 10. Apollo 17 was uh, was a real goal of mine. I knew before we launched that Apollo 17 was going to be the last flight to the moon, and I knew I was. Wow! Go Marvel, Daddy! On the moon. Wow! There are a lot of people, a lot of people, I think, in positions of responsibility within NASA, who, being the last flight, just wanted me to get back alive. Yeah. We choose to go to the moon. You see the moon? Yeah, I see the moon, yeah. Last time when I flew over to Florida in 1972, there was no moon. You could check the date on that, idiot. Why don't you see that? America's new spacecraft. I see here uh, the launch date, Jacko. December 7, 1972. At 5.33 UTC, Apollo 17, so now that we know uh, the launch date, we can check uh, the direction of the moon in Florida at the launch site. We choose to go to the moon. So that was December 7, 1972, at 5.33. You're right, Echo. There was no moon. I told you so, idiot. <laughs> so now can I uh, see the moon in this face? This moon face also was wrong. Daddy? Yeah. You know that all those uh, rocket predictions, they're not real. Oh, really, Echo? Why you tell me now? <laughs> Piece of shit. Don't, Don't tell me uh, this is fake also, uh, Yeko. It is, Daddy. No way. This must be real. Take a good look, Daddy. Idiot. I'm looking. Now look into space. I don't see anything uh, fake. Damn, idiot. Take a good look. Oh, now I see it! We can see the Earth uh, face, the Terminator line. So that means uh, the Sun uh, comes from this direction. Must be right behind the Earth. And here we can uh, see this uh, flag lit up from the front side. To the moon. Yeah, you're right, Jacko. Yes, Daddy, it's fake bullshit. Meep, meep. Piece of shit. The stick of the throttle control forward. You saw that, Jacko? Yeah, I saw that. You cannot drive this uh, idiot car. If you push uh, forward, you go backwards, idiot. The stick of the throttle. Control forward. <laughs> Look at this shit. And now, if America's new spacecraft, the Apollo, if America's new spacecraft.
Where are those creepy ballers? Where are you creeps? I don't see you on this video. You like to hide? Since uh, I show you uh, how to spot your anus on the globe without the uh, altitude, just directions, piece of shit. You see that? Nothing. Thanks for uh, your comments all. Thanks, thanks. Anyways, I'm gonna show you some more uh, directions. This time uh, it's not your anus, piece of shit. Let's check the direction of the sun in Madagascar on December 7, 1339, UTC 3. Uh, the azimuth of the sun is uh, 257. Let's see uh, how we model that up on the globe. 257. I'm here uh, at Madagascar. And when I uh, line north and south up to Madagascar, then uh, put 257, an azimuth of 257 here. The red line uh, is the sun. So that's 257. And now we can uh, check on the US, US uh, Naval uh, Observatory uh, website. See if this uh, is correct. So the sun uh, must be uh, in this direction somewhere. This uh, sun talk website shows the sun here. I'm here at the Formula Lab uh, website, some uh, satellite uh, website. I fill in the, the longitude and latitude for uh, this location here, Madagascar. The date, the time was uh, 1339. And then uh, we can see here uh, the terminator line. So that makes uh, my uh, model up more or less uh, spot on. Here I put the sun a little bit lower because uh, it's December and it travels uh, near the Tropic of uh, Capricorn of course. And this is uh, how it would look like uh, with the top view. You now that's logic on the globe. 90 degrees uh, to this side and 90 degrees to this side. You have uh, more or less uh, daylight and the other side uh, is dark. That's uh, what the globe says. So we can see here uh, this uh, terminator line around uh, 160 uh, degrees and here at the uh, around 350 degrees so 160 degrees and 350 degrees about so that means uh, Terminator line uh, must be uh, here somewhere.
Zo, so, this brings us to the blue marble. This photograph was taken on the December 7, 1972 at uh, 5.39 a.m. Eastern Time or uh, 10.39 UTC Time. This is one of the most uh, widely uh, distributed uh, photographs in existence. The image uh, is one of the few to show almost a fully uh, illuminated Earth as the astronauts had the sun behind them. Yeah, otherwise uh, you cannot take the picture. The sun uh, must be uh, about uh, overhead here. Because this is the center. Uh, the Earth was slightly uh, gibbous. I don't see that, but it doesn't matter. So this is about the center here. When the sun is overhead, let's check that uh, location. So let's uh, center this uh, to here. We have to match up a little bit uh, with the blue marble. This is about the center of the photograph. Let's uh, check the time. The time was uh, 5.39 Easter time. 10.39 UTC. So at uh, this uh, time, it shows me where uh, the sun is. It's like uh, my model say, the sun was not on this side. At 5.39, you understand? I made a big error. Of three hours. Let's put this slider on the three hours back. At 10.39 Eastern Time. Now let's do the same uh, on this uh, website. Make it uh, 10 uh, 39. Let's calculate it. So now we see uh, the blue marble. But that is not correct. Because 10.39 UTC is 13.39 for this location. You understand? This is wrong. I did not uh, switch to uh, December 7, 1972. Because uh, the angles are uh, more or less the same. Let's uh, switch to 1972. Here we are in uh, 2019. The azimuth is 102. And uh, here we are in uh, December 72. And the azimuth is uh, still uh, 102. And the altitude was also 69. Same. So it doesn't matter what uh, year you take, it's uh, more or less the same. So this was not uh, my observation. My uh, friend Amster Jam told me about it, so uh, I had a look at it. And indeed, it was uh, totally uh, off. So I'm here on the uh, U.S. Uh, Naval uh, Observatory website. And uh, let's use this uh, website uh, to see uh, where the moon is on December 7, 1972. So I put in here uh, the latitude and the longitude. 
same as uh, here. Now let's uh, calculate it. Oh, these have uh, plus three hours, of course. Let's see. 1339. It's about here. And the moon has an azimuth of uh, 215. So let's uh, move this uh, line to 215 and uh, apply it to my uh, model. This was the sun. And now where uh, we do the moon. Now we have the moon here and the sun here. The sun was uh, 257 and the moon was uh, 215. Azimuth. and the blue marble so this is about the same as the blue marble uh, shot so the moon was here we fly uh, towards the moon So if you have the sun uh, behind you, how uh, can you take this uh, blue marble shot? The sun was here. Like we saw in the information. So you see this is uh, totally wrong. Because we should see the Terminator line here somewhere. Like a show. This is an impossible uh, angle for the blue marble uh, photo. So the sun was uh, not, uh, not behind them when they took the picture. So you're five hours uh, into the flight to the moon and then you're uh, able uh, to take a shot like this from this angle with the sun here. Well there must be a, a terminator line of course because the sun is here. So how do we do that? Uh, NASA Let's have a look at the official uh, Apollo 17 uh, data from uh, history nasa.gov So they uh, fly around the uh, earth for three hours with a speed of about uh, 17,500 uh, miles an hour and then uh, after three hours and one minute they burn uh, some engine to head off uh, to the moon so this burn took about uh, six minutes and then uh, they gain uh, almost 66 uh, miles in uh, altitude nautical miles so 6 uh, minutes to 66 uh, miles, let's uh, calculate that, so this one don't have uh, nautical miles, let's use miles, 66 miles, 
is six minutes. That's uh, 660 uh, miles an hour. They go from uh, 17 and a half thousand uh, miles an hour to 660 uh, miles an hour in six minutes. What the fuck is this uh, data come from? Even a uh, diagonal uh, line uh, would not uh, produce a speed of uh, 660 uh, miles an hour after uh, flying uh, 17,500 miles an hour around Earth. It's like uh, hitting a, a brick wall. Idiots. How can you believe uh, this is uh, real? So garbage. So what we seen uh, was impossible. Let's see uh, some more uh, globe bullshit. Okay, let's uh, move 180 degrees to the other side of the globe. At the same moment of course, same day, everything same, just uh, the other side of the globe. I'm here at the uh, 40th uh, longitude east and I'm here at the uh, 140 longitude uh, west that's uh, the opposite side and I have to uh, put the slider uh, to 139 uh, of course it's the same day but 12 hours uh, sooner. Let's check uh, the directions. The sun and moon. The sun uh, had an azimuth of 22. And the moon had an azimuth of uh, 2.7, almost 3. Here I uh, put this on the compass. Almost 3 and 22. Let's uh, put this in the 3D model. Again, uh, I lined the uh, south up and the north up with my uh, location. And then uh, we can see here uh, totally uh, different uh, locations for the sun and moon on the same moment this globe is full of flaws everything works to uh, one single location but when you do stuff like this then we have all different uh, outcomes so to what moon uh, they went and don't say uh, this uh, method is uh, incorrect because it's correct I will show you again I line up uh, the 180 degrees south line to the UK here let's uh, check the sun uh, data I'm here at the UK and uh, it's uh, noon, the sun is at its highest point, that's uh, 180 degrees uh, south to this uh, occasion and then the azimuth is uh, almost 180 so and then uh, we have the time 11.56 and then uh, we can uh, check this other website where the sun was let's update here we see the terminator line let's uh, check the view from the sun and update so this is uh, again the same uh, result as I have the sun is about here 
because it's uh, 180 degrees uh, south you know this way uh, I can line it up and I don't need a stupid altitude because you cannot uh, put altitude on a globe you need a flat level plane so you can apply azimuth together with uh, altitude so this is again uh, spot on almost And uh, we can uh, verify it on the website from the US uh, Naval Observatory. They must uh, know their stuff. So 1972 and then uh, the time is uh, 11 hour uh, 56. Just like here and just like here. Let's calculate it. So, same result, same, same thing here in my model. And of course we can do this uh, for the moon also. The moon has an azimuth of uh, 161 and it's in uh, this direction. This is uh, 161, I lined uh, up uh, 180 uh, with uh, the UK of course, and then uh, the moon must be uh, somewhere here. And if we check uh, this uh, website from the US uh, Naval Observatory, and we can change this to the moon and the time is uh, 11.56 uh, and uh, we can set the date and then let's see where the moon is the moon uh, must be uh, on this uh, longitude line so that's uh, again a match about Of course, uh, this is uh, a fake globe, just like uh, any others. So the land mass is uh, a little bit bigger or smaller on each uh, map and globe. So we can uh, do the same uh, for this uh, thing. The moon is uh, here. Anyways, bye bye. Pieces of shit, pieces of shit. Are you like that, you fucking cocksucker? Cocksucker? Are you like that? Are you like that? Cocksucker, 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 cocksucker. Are you like that? Are you like that, cocksucker, cocksucker? Who did that? <laughs>